what's going on collective welcome back to the channel it's your girl jess i'm here to drop some jewels so yeah i really got pause in the middle of washing dishes to come to the table and drop this message so we're gonna see um uh, I, I guess the irony of me washing dishes at the time i guess somebody's trying to clean something up or clean up some sort of evidence or yeah we got gold yeah and i've already went through this deck already and i saw robbery coach which is my god card okay and coming in to assist like there's evidence here like somebody got caught up for trying to steal something from somebody and i feel like they want to come in and compromise yeah and compromise compromise kept coming up yeah somebody want to compromise now somebody was hoping that they could have left you alone or like left you in a stuck position or stole some sort of promise from you but they're alone now. This person, somebody could like even be banging on like a deathbed or something like that. Or like they're sick. And like they're trying to plead a case or whatever to like get this sickness off them or something like that. What is this? Matter of fact, yeah, look. Alliance and stress here. It's a friend group. 26, 28, 8, Leo energy, 73. That's 8, 10, 8, and 10. Could be seeing 18, 18. A lot of eights or a lot of ones. It's death energy here, Scorpio. Sun is over. I heard you got a friend of me. So somebody was like trusting somebody. And somebody realized they're not trustworthy. They can't trust them. Yeah, natural disaster. Sun 38. Sun then came in. 52. But how somebody was coercing someone in a situation. All this blue is th throat chakra energy. Could be a little sex energy up in here too. But it was murky. It was uh, somebody was somebody realized somebody was like lying or this could even be like some sort of spell work. Yeah, to keep somebody alone. Yeah, bullying. 68. They found out what somebody was doing. There's another flip card in here. Yeah, look, third party or this group of people. Karmic energy. This is a karmic an enemy here. Like I said, distrust. They, don't, they can't trust them. They found out they're not trustworthy. Yeah, because they was trying to claim some sort of prize or like win something get this promise they wanted this promise oh like comment subscribe share thank you appreciate you love you i'll return it back um 72 here yeah this was this goal like this this group of friends or this like they came together to try to make this connection come together like there was a pact yeah there's a pact it's a lot of my a lot of people out here. 47. And they all had the same goal to come in and steal this this relationship or like help this person. Or this could even be somebody family helping them. Yeah, they was trying to strike their luck. This could even have been a family. Because it was like if this person could have got in and married or whatever or been with this person, then the whole family on or whatever. Like the whole family eat. Yeah, see? Lonely, 31. Which breaks down to a four, 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 four here. With readiness. We got coach. That's the guy energy. Yeah, you were put in isolation for a reason. I feel like whoever is the one that, like, the wealthy energy. I'm picking up. Apparently, there's a wealthy energy here. Whoever's the wealthy energy, they had to go through a lesson. They had to learn something. They had to see something. God, like, kept you in isolation for a reason. Like, everything's going to be okay. Like, he knew this trap was going to be was here like he already knew this trap was coming or they was gonna set this trap up yeah now they want to compromise because you didn't fall into the trap and it's crazy because it's like this masculine like yeah some masculine energy in these switches right here Boop. and it's crazy like he yeah redhead okay whatever <sighs> yeah there was a lot of people involved but it was like it's okay like this trap this could be like the karma or again the masculine energy falling into this trap but he gonna be all right <laughs> He gonna be all right. He'll figure it out. He'll compromise. There's some agreement that is to be came to. Yeah, for this conflict, three, three, three. You could be seeing compromise was thirty three. Conflicts thirty. It's my five of wands energy, Leo. Five out here, Taurus energy. <sighs> but yeah, God put you in isolation for a reason because He knew that they were gonna fall back into their own trap. Let's trap. Let's try. Yeah. 
The one that they was trying to give you. 36. The trap that they was trying to present to you, this person, they fell into it themselves. Yeah, it was all a part of the plan. Strategy. Okay, let's get some more tea on this. Let's see. Tell me about um who the main energy here that's coming up against who needs to hear this message. The divine collective. Who's this main energy? Divine Holy Spirit. Funeral. Somebody who like got put out, or like I said, they pleaded on a deathbed, or it's a rap for them. Like they could have just lost somebody, or they losing somebody, or they losing themselves. Like something's completely over, finito, done. Somebody's lost somebody. My condolences, but that that's what this is. Who um who is this karmic? The main karmic who's trying to steal the promise. What's the team on this the main karmic who's trying to steal the promise? Somebody who don't got their own life. They don't got nothing. They don't, I heard they don't got their life together. They don't got nothing in their name. Like, this is a, a carless person. Or no car, repo car issues. Or, like, they don't have their own, okay? They keep praying to, like, get a lick. This is somebody who keeps praying. Like, they keep worshiping for, or they worship money. This person does things because they need money. Or they keep trying to pray and get somebody's inheritance. Yeah, they keep using fake accounts to try to locate and see where somebody's going. They're trying to find you. Or they're trying to see where this masculine is going. Because they know that once this masculine leaves, it's a wrap. They could be trying to look you up so they can see where this masculine is going. Yeah, love-hate relationship here. They don't like the person that they with or who they're trying to be with. They only want them because, again, they're a jackpot. They have this finances, this money, and they need them to take care of them. And they stalking you. What's up with this? Yeah, fake account. Yeah, reject it. Okay, they want to know why they not messing with, with them. Who has their attention? So they're trying to look you up. Yeah, they got rejected. They're not the one who's being chosen. So they're trying to figure out who this masculine is choosing. Tell me about these people in this group. What's up with the people that's helping them? What's up with the people that's helping them? Divine Holy Spirit. What's the team? These are people who, they help them all the time. Dude. Like I said, this could be family. People who they've learned this from as well. Like, this is somebody who they, they're supposed to learn a lesson in dealing with these people. And I feel like these people are supposed to learn a lesson as well. I feel like whatever they're doing, like, especially if this is family and they've been like, this is like their tactic to like keep the family afloat, afloat or whatever, or keep the like bloodline, I guess, strong or whatever. Like, they're all about to also learn a very harsh lesson about like using people to do this. Like... It's not just going to be whoever this karmic is. Like, the family is really going to be affected in a strong way, too. Because it's going to be revealed how, all, like, the parts that they all played in this situation. And they do this all the time. Like, damn to everybody in the family. Like, if they're, like, in a, a situation with somebody where they're well off with them. Like, I'm seeing water. Like, they probably even put stuff, like, in their drinks or whatever. Or, like, hypnotize people or whatever. It's, it's give and get out. It's like they keep people stuck. And like this is how the whole family seems like they're well off, but they're not. It's because they use spell work and a lot of dark energy to keep people trapped in relationships with them. Yeah, GPS, location. They track them. Like they have like chips and people like, you know, so to speak. Yeah, spiritual hater. And they don't like divine beings. They try to mask and steal this energy. This is what this family does. Or this friend group. If it's not family. Yeah. They don't like you collective either because you don't run from the shit. It's like, well, if you knocking, like, knock if you buck, ho. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, like, you're not dimming your light just because they keep throwing shit at you or whatever. Yeah, you're Queen B. They know who you are. You stand outside of them. They were trying to end you as Queen B. They are trying to end your career, your, your confidence, your security. So that way, this masculine will look at you no way. And it looks like you're a gold digger and you're needy, but in reality, it's this karmic. Ooh! I had to get that off the floor. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they were trying to make it seem like you was a gold digger, but it's not. Like, you're not. Like, you got shit going for yourself. Yeah. You just don't got time for the fake shit, though. 
or like you don't have time to sit here and like i feel like you're still being attacked spiritually either way right because they know that when it's like this person still wants you deep down like the connection is there but the thing is like you don't have time to be out here trying to chase behind a person to marry for money like you rather chase and get your own and come together and build big because i mean you are empress this is what you do you get what i'm saying so it's like when you when you've encountered this masculine or whatever or when you encounter this if you nah this is happening for somebody who's happening You knew that all of this was going on, so it's like you don't you don't have time to entertain karmic energy or whatever. So it's like you just go on about your business and keep doing what you got to do. Feel me? And they were trying to make it seem like you was a gold digger and you only wanted them for money, but it's like no, like that's not that's not who you are. And I feel like you probably like even if you were the one who walked away, you probably wa you walked away because like you probably knew this or whatever, or like even like. Like, you knew something of this inkling or whatever, or, like, maybe in conversations, it's like, you hear what this masculine has said, and you're just like, well, you know, well, I need to go handle my own business. It's like, and in the midst of that, I feel like this masculine, like, they realize, like, damn, like, you, you really queen B, like, you hold your own. Like, you're not, and it's karmic, because they're carless. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's like, they're trying to say these things about you, but it's like, they're carless. Yeah, you're not a copycat. You're not an impersonator. Like, you, you don't try to be like anybody but yourself. <laughs> Like, yeah, like, you you wasn't out here trying to trap this person. Like, it wasn't, you weren't playing games. Like, what you said was true. Yeah. Like, reject it in reverse. And this is why they want you. Like, like you, they ain't rejecting you because you, you the truth. You real, you real. You the real one. Well, this who you gonna get me on this. We're gonna grab the, ooh, Jesus. Somebody is shady. This is a lie. It is a lot, but oh, so this is some different shit, though. It's not same shit, different same shit, different day. This is some, some different stuff. Like this, this, this sun knows. Let's see. This came out first. Something that is no longer played out. Somebody's back to house. Somebody's trying to hide that and just trying to dip, but they can't run from this. Like I said, somebody okay. Because somebody didn't want to stop doing something, and they kept trying to hide and act like they weren't doing something, they're, they're gone. This goodbye, as a goodbye, the only thing being upright, this person is being taken out. They can't run from this. All that dark energy they was playing with is about to take them out. Yeah, this shady ass psycho who was fake flexing is about to get some bad news. There's some different shit. Wow. Spirit, what we got to say about this bad news? Because uh, August, okay, something could have happened in August, something with the Lion's Gates, could be a Leo, could be a Virgo, okay. What is this bad news? Maybe some ritual or something that they did in August, that's the one that's backfiring, this person is depressed, or they're anxious, okay. They could be receiving some bad news that's putting them in a very anxious energy here, i just seen black magic, Okay. I only shot twice, so you could be seeing twos. Two, two, two could be significant. Yeah, the other person is jealous of you. Okay. This is the bad news. This could be like, like I said, they're getting left. Like, shiver me timbers. Karmic mad. They karmic. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> I forgot I made this card. This is so funny. This never came out. Um, but karmic is mad that they're karmic. Okay. That's a new card in here. That's so funny. Sometimes I sit here and I just be like writing shit. And they're sad. Like they are sad. They're sad. They're mad and they're sad. <laughs> they're mad and they're sad. They're mad and they're sad. I see somebody with a fight extinguisher. Like, calm down, bitch. Like, I, oh my gosh. It's like they're so mad. Like they're on fire. Like I'm seeing a little baby off of Incredibles, but it's like it's this karmic. And it's like somebody just come up with a fight extinguisher. Like, just calm down, man. Like, blow that out. Yeah, and they just want attention. You just trying to get some attention. Like, ain't nobody paying attention to you. You, you so you depressed and and sad and melancholy, and then you all anxious and angry and go, boy, bye, bye. Yeah, go back to school. Do something with yourself. Go follow your dreams, not somebody else's dreams. Like, what the fuck? All right, let's see. <laughs> uh. 
collective some of you may need to do a spa day self-care relax like truly relax and i am going to be the pot that is calling the kettle black because i keep telling myself you know just lay down relax you know or well, take a nap you know whatever enjoy you know catch up on your show whatever whatever but i don't know like i just i be on go <laughs> i be on go so and it's like i know i can do it without problem and it's like really i don't i, I don't know i just always be on go so but do it because you know i know my limits and i'm i'm not gonna put myself to you know whatever i'm, I'm gonna take my time but yeah somebody you, you really need to take your time like for real feel me like classic you classic and go enjoy some classics and get ready again the holiday spirit or whatever the case may be or i don't know just enjoy some of your old time movies i don't know somebody a disney kid out here go watch some old disney movies did you catch or did you go and watch don't look under the bed uh, come on something like that but now let's see what about this bad news here for this psycho this shady psycho what's the bad news what is the bad news? It's from the Divine Masculine. Who? The Divine Masculine is telling the Divine Feminine if this world were mine, okay? this ma The bad news is they about to find out that this masculine, because they out here fake flexing, right? <laughs> the bad news is they about to find out that this masculine is about to go give everything to the feminine, the Divine Feminine. That's the bad news. Carried by six. And like I said, so by six, they, they about the, the funeral card. They, they about to be gone. They about to be gone. This might take somebody out. Or, I don't know. I don't... Yeah, I said it how I said it. So, take it how you need it. This might take somebody out. What is this? Purposely moved into your neighborhood or your place of employment. The bad news, snowstorm. But they, they, somebody, they could have tried. A karmic could have tried to, like, get a job where you work. Or, like, I don't know, do the same job or something like that. And it just... They can't do it like you. Or they try to get into a neighborhood. They can't afford, they can't afford to move there or something like that. That's way too many, Spirit. Way too many. What's the bad news? Oh, okay. I guess so. They said, bitch. <laughs> What's the bad news? Milton! Yeah, see, they said, bitch. <laughs> the stack that came out is about just as big as the last one. Let's see. Let's run it. Yeah, so, yeah the soulmate, Divine Masculine, is having a spiritual awakening. They realizing that these hoes are not loyal and that they're sus as, you know what, they're figuring out all these secrets, how they was out here screwing off, why they was on vacations, there was dudes that they were seeing and all of this stuff, where they was going on vacation really with dudes, not their girlfriends or whoever the case. We got 776 here, okay? Trust and have faith in your abilities, intuition, and inner wisdom. Biblically, this is the coming of a new beginning with God's guidance. You can overcome and succeed. Yeah, God stepped in. God stepped in. God stepped in and told his masculine, get ready. Your feminine has been sitting here chilling, waiting, keeping her legs closed, minding her business, you know, working on herself, stacking her bread, building up life, you know, b building her own, you know, keeping herself busy, you know, staying pure, whatever, right? Again, now he's getting his new beginning. God hope. God did this. God did this. Julius, yeah, yeah. This masculine realized, the bad news is masculine realized how this karmic was was um a betrayer because julius i mean somebody that could be julius but this is was julius caesar like etu brute then false caesar or a friend they could find out a friend betrayed them maybe the karmic was sleeping and dealing with one of their friends or something like that or family i don't know yeah salty and now they ain't they feeling salt feelings of defeat you know smiles a little then stops you know resting bitch like this hater like <laughs> well again like this friend was always salty, always had a, always felt a way about this divine masculine, that's the bad news, or this karmic is feeling salty right now, feeling defeated. Because this masculine realized who betrayed them. They are Julius Caesar, they realized who betrayed them. 11-11, they made a wish. They want their soulmate. They divine twin flame soulmate, they true life partner, the one who really loved them, gonna be there. Yeah, they want that. Judge. Somebody last name could be judge. Or again, rather be this person had a chance to be judged by 12 or carried by 6. They chose carried by 6. We just seen the carry by 6. They chose that. Gray, the color gray could be significant, okay? Or I've seen gray, baby. Somebody could be mixed or some shit like that. Or again, color gray. But karmic confession, no matter what I say, people still like you. I wish you disappear. Yeah, okay. Poof, bitch. Like smoke, gray. The, the, the gray. The fucking fire extinguisher. Calm down. Calm down, little, little hot spot. Little, calm down. Somebody could be Puerto Rican here. Yeah, this bitch crazy. <laughs> Schizophrenic, crazy bitch. Go sit down somewhere. Yeah, it feels like I know you my whole life. Like, you might know this person. 
Or maybe you knew them when you were, like, younger or you met them or something or ran across them. Like, maybe you don't really know them. You know them in passing. You know, like, a not even so much an associate. Like, it's like you went to school with them. It's like, oh, yeah, they're in my yearbook type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're spent sending spiritual attacks to your children. Bitch. Yeah, it's time for you to change your diet. Like I said, go enjoy yourself. Okay, collective. I feel like this is you. Like, um, I feel like, you know, if you're thinking about changing your diet or if you're something else, and maybe it's, you know... Your spirit guy is trying to lead you to, like, you know, have a healthier life. Really take care of yourself. Stop eating bullshit. You know, cook that meal that you want to cook. You know, enjoy yourself. Like, take time to slow down and really enjoy yourself and cater to you, okay? Like, I feel like that's what spirit is trying to say here, okay? Yeah, the last two to three years, like, you could have been busy. And it's like, you know, take time for yourself, okay? But I, I feel like, you know, yeah, the answer's been under your nose. I feel like this is for you. So don't get them your energy. Like, you already know. Like, the last two to three years, okay, this could have been going on or something like that. Or, you know, you just constantly feel like you've been on goal. But it's time for you to make those changes. You know, maybe you got goals or whatever. Don't wait till the new year. Start today, okay? Because this person is jealous of you. That's the only, that's the issue. This person is jealous, okay? They're jealous. What is this? Yeah, they trying to run up that hill to make a deal with God. I told you somebody trying to compromise. Mm, I wonder if it's going to. Yeah, they trying to run up that hill and make a deal with God. Yeah, look, I, I'm going to pull it because I see it right on the top, the Ophiuchus energy here. Because you done transmuted all of that stuff. Like I said, like, they can't touch you. Can't touch this. You done transmuted everything that they've done to you. Um, Honestly, November 30th to de um, December 17th could be significant dates of like, you know, you guys just really coming together. It's like the final hurrah, hurrah. Okay, or whatever. Yeah, I lied. I'm not pregnant. Oh, shit. They try. Yeah, they try to trap them. And they come to you because they realize you're not, you ain't about that life. <laughs> that ain't you. They could have said all this about you to turn around and try to trap them. Like, where, bitch? Yeah, they try to do beauty and glamour spells on you. That fell. This whole looking bad. That's why I said you need to take time to yourself. Like, they feel like, oh, my beauty. Ain't... No, it's collective been busy getting that bag and take care of home and everything else they got to do. Like, the fuck am I about to go and do my nails for and I got to go out here and rake all these leaves? Come on now. No, that's not happening. Like, you wow. Like, <laughs> feel me? So, it's stuff like that. So, Whatever, like they they doing this stuff. Bad news, it didn't work. Like you still beautiful, even in your natural state. When you out here just handling business, you know you might still got your ponytail on and your sweatpants. You still look better than this person. They got to do everything to get all pretty and stuff. Glamour spells didn't work, bitch. You fell. No, all the spell work. It didn't work. Depression and it didn't work. Cause we already see that you schizophrenic. Like you crazy as fuck. Restraining order. Yes, you're a crazy bitch. You crazy for real. You crazy. You crazy. What is this? Yeah, they just mad because your money long, your money strong. Like I said, that's what you be focused on. Like, you got other things. Like, you clean up nice. Like, you know how to look good when, when you need to look good or whatever. But you for what? Like, bitch. Like, you, again, spiritual hater. Your light irritates their demons. You shine so brightly from the inside anyway, ho. Like, what? Are you for real? <laughs> like, stop. Lawyer. Yeah. Because, again, but mm, I feel like divinely guided. I feel like your lawyer can't, like, if, I, if this is like a spiritual court, let me see something real quick before I see the rest of these. Um, give me a tarot. Give me a tarot real quick. Clarify lawyer. I'm going to lie to y'all sometimes. I'll be like, no, I don't want to. Spirit be like, read day ass. I, I, I. Here we go. I was so busy. And it's just like, it just went out and let go. So here we go. Why is lawyer here? What's up with this lawyer? Yeah, definitely Libra energy. This is definitely a lawyer. Yes, yes, it really is. This is a yeah. This could be like your lawyer or a lawyer or somebody who then came in and stood up for you. Somebody help like helped you win your case. Yeah, this is somebody who pro bono. Okay, somebody who took your case off or somebody who just like looked out for you. Give me another one before I flip that. I said no look at them okay yeah like this is somebody like again they could be trying like mm, yeah because okay yeah they're giving up they're paranoid because okay okay there's some divine guidance here i'm only interested really to see what the next card gonna be but okay what this lawyer here this karma could be trying to go to the lawyer now and say oh it wasn't supposed to be like that yet because this is eight swords in reverse they're trying to get themselves like I want to say so much like out of like they're trying to get out of spiritual jail. Like they're trying to break these curses or hexes or the spells. They're trying to like run up a hill to make a deal with God. They're trying to repent now. But it's like, no, it's too late. Like you already did it. Like this person, like they don't want to go crazy. They're begging and pleading to like, I don't know, take the pain away or something like that. 
Like they wanted your life so bad. And it's like what you went through in your whole lifetime, like in this lifetime, I feel like it's it's just this lifetime period. Like they didn't even like go and go through like with these source energy. This is like a quick moving energy. Like I don't, I don't feel like they went, yeah, because then Nine of Wands here. I don't feel like they even went like into other previous lifetimes. They only took the pain that you endured during this lifetime and put it on that person. And since they wanted your life so bad, like they had to deal with it all at once. So it's like the day I write my book and people find out what I've been through in the 37 years of my life, right? As of up to today, I mean, I can probably recount pretty good back to probably like three, four years old. Okay. Yeah. A lot of stuff been coming back. But it's like, imagine, you know, the type of stuff, like if people knew what I've been through, right? You're talking from like the age of three. 34 years. Somebody had to, like, they got whacked with, like, at least three decades, two to three decades of your pains that you've been through in one time, in one session. This all could have started coming in in, like, August when they did that line. They could have did something with the Lionsgate and just wanted it so, so bad. We was going through all that eclipse energy back then, too, back in, what, like, April and stuff like that. They was trying to do all that swapping around and all that and trying to shut you down and then soup up your energy. And they got hit with all of that. And now they're, like, begging and pleading. They want to come out of this spiritual prison because they don't want to face this. They didn't realize what you had to go through to get to where you are. So this is all part of the plan. And now they're begging and pleading. And that's why I said somebody could, like, be taking themselves out because they're, they're going crazy. They're, this is swords. This is mental. They're going fucking crazy because they can't handle your pain, your sorrow. They're trying to compromise. They they give up. They give up. Okay. The, the they're trying to go now and plead a case to a lawyer or get somebody to hear them out. Hell, they could be trying to come to you and plead a case. What else? On this lawyer energy. Yeah, they trying to come to you. Ace of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius out here, Leo out here. Um, that Nine of Wands or Sag energy. Yeah, they're trying to come in and, and, and pe make a peace offering for all this conflict that they've caused in your life. It's like, no, it's, it's kind of too late. Yeah, it's kind of too late. Like, you already know. Like, you already got the keys, the ones and the twos. You, you got the ones and the... You... <laughs> why I worry about the two, bitch, I'm the one. <laughs> like, why I'm worried... You just like, why I'm worried for? Like, I don't need your pinnacle. Like, I'm the one. This this emperor, this, this king of cups, this, he, lo he loves me. Ace of Pentacles on his lawyer. Yeah, somebody is really trying to come in real quick to bring you this offer. Or like a peace offering. I don't know if it's, this could even be money. Like somebody could have stole some money or something from you. And they want to come in and like offer, like offer you the money up. Because they don't want you to tell these secrets. Yeah, they trying to... The lawyer. They're trying to like go through a lawyer to like pay you or like get you to apologize. Yeah, but you don't want this. You already know that this is coming from some BS that they've done. Capricorn, Sag, Pisces. You know this? Yeah, you already know. And you good and you solid. You don't need them to bring you nothing. You are the queen. Yeah, you don't need them to bring you nothing. Because you know that whatever it is that they're trying to give you, it's coming with bad luck. They Even in them trying to do this, they will still try to offer you something to still try to swap out your destiny. And you no, know, you don't need the, the setbacks, the delay. You don't need that. You're you're good. You're 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 independent. You're solid. Okay? Virgo energy. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. Um, what is her name? Oh my gosh, I'll be watching her and I love her so much. She's so she's so spicy. Like she my spicy mommy. Karmic, she read Karmic Tarot. And I can't think of her name right now. And it is eating me up. But that's where, you know, she be talking about the coins. People trying to hand you, like, cursed coins and shit. Like, somebody, they could be trying to, like, hand you some money that they done cursed or whatever. Like, to try to, like, pay you off. And that's cursed money to, like, put you in an imbalance and then mess with your fortune and make you broke. Like, yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> like, they trying to mess with your Ten of Pentacles and still, they're still, like, it's still shading. And so that's why it's, like, even still with all of this. That's why this person got to go. Like, they physically got to go. Because even what they're trying to do spiritually, or even if they are trying to come in and, like, you know, offer you something to, like, make peace, it's still, like, some sort of string attached to it. Like, they shady. Like, this this, a, this some different shit. For real. Yeah, the cycle's complete. They're divinely guided. Divinely guided. The cycle is complete. Like, they got to go. This is what I say. Bipolar. They fucking crazy. They crazy. Two, two, two. Didn't I just say with the twos? Two. Two, two, two. Yeah, love note. I thought I had it all. That was until I met you. I know a blessing. 
I know I love. You're a blessing. So you love this person? Hell, maybe the cycle complete, then shit, could have even drove this masculine kind of crazy. And they were, like, But you helped balance them out. Or maybe they could have felt like they was crazy, going crazy, dealing with this person. But you balanced them out. You love them. You're a blessing. Yeah, it's not their car. This is a fucking scrub. This person... Are, for somebody here, somebody was also lying, claiming that they, oh, I love you and you're everything and you make me complete and da da da. No, again, it was because they're a scrub or a pigeon. They need stability. They need stability. It's a love hate. They don't. They don't mean it. Like they need them to feed them. <laughs> okay, somebody with these initials C H N Q S, first middle last name nickname. I'm also getting a street name here. And what car here? The masculine could drive a car that starts with one of these, like a Chevy, a Honda, a Nissan. Okay, like. A Scion, I don't know, Subaru. What is this? Yeah, see, there's an X out here. This is this X. This could be this X initials here who need to be quiet because this masculine is going on to somebody new. Yeah, this this is a Hispanic X. Puerto Rican that came out, Hispanic, that's double confirmation. They need they need to let it go. And like I said, they was out here doing a, a family that they Brujeria, they was out here. I, I see. I see the scene on the damn uh, All About the Benjamins when she was looking on her thing for her statue and all of that. Going, yeah, like big team. They do big. Caseworker, social worker, this could be getting involved, okay? There could be kids involved in this situation. Yeah, because this person is crazy. Like, they're fucking crazy. This could even be a therapist. Like, they need a therapist. But this, Or, again, they're going to the nut house. Restraining order. Crazy hoe. Crazy. Woo-woo. Let's ex... Well, I mean, like, sure. We're going to get one of these. This is, um, Exposed as Hater. I feel like the My Master has a message too, but sir, not right now. <laughs> like, sir, not right now. Like, you don't, this reading done jumped the line of a number shit, but I guess, it, look, it had to, because look at this. These popped out. Look, Dia de los Muertos, which we just came out of yesterday, because I'm recording this on the third. Dia de los Muertos, what I said. Santeria, Brujeria. They use this time and energy to do this. Okay? Sunflowers could be significant. Okay? Or against an empress, your divinity. Okay? They did this root work. Okay? So seek someone to help you with a protection spell. Or again, cleanse yourself, pray. Look, I, I send... Ophucus, you can transmute the energy. You can transmute this, but cleanse, heal, transmute this energy. If you felt the blunt, like, look, the blunt. <laughs> the brunt, okay? Some say, shit, somebody, maybe you need to smoke a blunt once you, you figure this shit out or you realize this. Somebody could have, oh, because this keeps sticking out too. They could have did something to try to steal your spiritual gifts, whatever your spiritual gifts may be, okay? Because, again, if we, re if we remember here, they try to set you up in a trap to make you give up your gifts or to take your gifts. And spiritual gifts came out in reverse. They wanted to be seen as the divine feminine. They were trying to mess you up and stop you. They wanted you to be crazy, ugly, all of this, a gold digger, broke. And this is this person. And it's being revealed. Their mask is coming off. Has came off. It's not even that it is coming off. It has came off. Mask is off, bitch. Mask is off, bitch. Okay? Yes. So, they did this root work, okay, to cause you to miss out and lose this opportunity so that this masculine one come towards you. They was hoping that they could have made you ugly, did all of this stuff to you, okay? Tried to mess with your confidence, that yellow energy there, okay? Your solar plexus, sacral, okay? Tried to do, probably even tried to do some sort of sex magic, like I said, to this masculine, but he didn't go for it. Like, he didn't want it, and that could be also what that lawyer energy was, them trying to plead their case, like, oh, you don't want me, blah, 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 blah. I'm not playing like I really care about you, yeah, 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 whatever the fuck. Okay, and I don't, ew, I don't even know why I'm saying talking like that. Like, I don't speak, like, ew. And I mean, not to say it like that, like, if somebody, if they, well, they speak like that, like, whatever. But, yeah, so, they're gonna play, not a, yeah, they'll play victim once they know they're losing. They about to play victim like a motherfucker, because they're exposed, their mask is off. They're exposed as fuck. They just did this shit. Like, this is what they were doing. Because they're envious of the divine feminine. The, who, this masculine, who he's going to, they're envious of this person. What they do, like I said, they try to do, be like you. They d d try to get the same job. It said they moved and tried to get the same employment or whatever. Like, they're mad about your job, which, what you do, who you are. Yeah. They talk about you on the internet all the time, constantly subliminal you, like, whatever. It could be on Twitter or X, right? It could be on X or just some other social media platform. Okay, they could be sending crows towards you, okay, to lurk on you, all right? Ho, be prepared to see that one crow everywhere you go, because sorrow is for you. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, they talk about you behind your back, always lurking, lurking in the dark. Like, look at this. 
probably got you on an altar or something. This is giving me like Keanu Shrine vibes. Like they're stealing your ideas and pretending they invented them. Like, cause it, yeah, but this masculine already see that you're not an impersonator. You're not a copycat. You are the queen bee. But they keep trying. Like they're embarrassing themselves. Yeah, they post things towards you instead of coming. Like they post stuff online instead of come to. Like I said, sub. They keep subbing you. And then tricks of spirit, sudden loss of memory. Um, things end up missing. Yeah, they're a fucking thief. And then they try to again. This is the same face talking behind about you behind your back. Say, oh, but I wasn't talking about the collective. This is the same exact person in this picture. They try to act like they're not talking about you or they're not worried about you or bothered about you, but they are bothered by you. Like, they are worried about you. Like, this is mad fucking crazy. Yeah, and they're recruiting more haters, more people to hate you. Like I said, this big-ass group, this family, like, these friends, like, hell, this could just be social media. Yeah, and then they're claiming credit over your excess. But their, their vision is not even as big as yours. Like, you need to protect yourself. They could be astral projecting, trying to, like, be up in your dream state to see what you got going on. Trying to, like, get siphon your dreams. You could need to burn some cedar, okay? So you can invite new energies or whatever into your home or whatever. You know, like, clear out the old energies, though, so that way you can have, like, more uplifting spirits and clear out the unwanting spirits, okay? Yeah, this is to get fresh energetic vibes, okay, and to protect you in your home, okay? Especially if you moved into a new place, all right? Yeah, the person causing you negativity is a fire sign, all right? I don't holler Sag and Leo a number of times. What else? What the fuck, bro? <sighs> Anything else, spirit? Yeah, they they just don't like you. They don't like your sake. They don't like your your sail your sailor. Sailor moon. I don't know. Maybe it's something maybe you, you could be a moon. You have a um a water moon or they have a water moon. Or they don't like your moon sign or I don't know. <laughs> um in the moon that's also like astrology type stars they don't like how you're so connected how you're so divine like they don't like your divinity but they want your divinity they don't like but it says hating all your creativeness and your ideas this is a raggedy bitch raggedy the color red is significant yeah and your spirit team got your back though so it's not even it's not even to that like they mad they don't again it's a fire sign i cut the deck just to cut it like this person they they really don't like you. They don't like you. Yeah, they toxic too. They toxic. They alcoholic. Like, pop pills, or perks is the choice, I heard. Yeah, and then they just like to go out and fight people. They try to, like, conjure up demons to cause chaos and conflict in your life. Okay, yeah, and they're jealous. A lot of red. Red is very significant. And it's a tacky bitch. Okay, they could have Virgo on their chart because I know Virgo, like, done had a couple readings that talk about somebody being tacky or having to wear tacky shoes. Or you could be a Virgo. Then, and this is your tacky motherfucker right here. You got Virgo on your chart. Okay. Um, let's get some characteristics of the karmic energy. Characteristics, divine Holy Spirit. Of this karmic energy, please. And thank you. Who is this karmic energy? Characteristics, divine Holy Spirit, of the karmic energy. And again, some of y'all may have some of these characteristics, but I'm asking for the karmic. Okay, so don't be offended. Don't feel no way. Um, hell, like I said, you may not know this person. You may may have seen this person in passing. So some of these, you know, are very specific. You might be like, damn, I do remember seeing that person who, you know, looked like this or I had that. Or every time I did see this person, they did always have that on. Like, yeah, so that that that's them. They the karmic. So. But again, you also got to remember that they copy you. So that's why I said a lot of this could be your characteristics. But this is theirs because they copy you. They want to be like you. So, I mean, some of you guys could, you know, maybe considering or, you know, want to do some change up in your style or, you know, your look or whatever. Glow up, many little glow ups or whatever. All right, let's see. Characteristics, divine Holy Spirit. Y'all got a cut. Somebody got waves, Caesar included, okay? This could be a, a chick who got waves, okay? Or a man, like if it's a master, like a man, you know, as a karmic. So let's see. Characteristics of my Holy Spirit. That's crazy, because I sure as hell did get on here. And like, I prayed before I got on, but I didn't need a second prayer, because this just needed to fly. 
Come on, we're not going to be doing that. No, no. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's enough. That is definitely enough. Somebody has braids, box, or cornrows. Okay. Somebody could have vitiligo. Again, well, that color gray came out. So, I mean, black, white skin, whatever. Somebody could have large ears. They could have wear Zara. Okay, wear a lot of Zara. Somebody could have gray or white hair. Okay. Somebody could have groomed eyebrows as a man. That's why I said this could be a man, too. Like, this could be same sex. Okay, somebody wear Asics. Somebody got a comb over. Somebody wears the North Face. And again, this is like brands that you'll always see them in. Like, they constantly wear this shit, like, all the time. Okay. Somebody got small ears. Somebody has finger, hand, or wrist tattoo. Somebody got a neck tattoo. Somebody wears polish or has polished nails. I see black. Like, they always, like, got black. It's always black. Or something with black. Somebody got a back tattoo. Okay. Not just, like, tramp stamp, but, like, somewhere in the back, like, back tattoo. Somebody got kinky hair. Somebody got rock and a full lock. Somebody is six feet to six two. Somebody got dark brown eyes. Somebody rock Cartier's. Somebody got or wears pig or ponytail. Somebody has an eyebrow piercing. Somebody wears puma. There's that ways again, season included. Okay, somebody has a random hair color. So somebody could have like dyed their hair gray or dyed their hair white, okay? But somebody also like wears random hair colors like the red, I keep saying somebody can have red hair. They could have dyed their hair red or have red streaks or blonde streaks or something like that, highlights. Somebody has natural hair. Somebody has natural eyes. Somebody wears Sun. Somebody wears Levi's. Somebody got the wig, weave, lace front, or the extensions going on. And somebody got their bands on, but they look like sneakers. Okay, let's see what signs and placements of these karmics. Signs and placements of the Holy Spirit of these karmics. Signs and placements. Of these karmics and it's reading divine holy spirit who's this karmic signs and placements i guess so virgo leo and that was that august energy moon so they could have a, a, a water moon so they got it could be a virgo leo sun they could have like a cancer scorpio pisces moon okay aries yeah they could have a cancer moon okay Let's see. Any more signs of these karmics? Divine Holy Spirit. Signs of these karmics. Divine Holy Spirit. We got Saturn. It's more so like getting karma. I'm going to take it as a no. Oh. Okay. Well, then, can we get eight then? Who is this? We got Gemini, Pluto, Cancer underneath the deck again. Give me one more. And Uranus. Underneath the deck, Capricorn. Somebody's broken free from this toxicity. They're no longer bound up or caught up with a karmic or no shit like that. Karmic energies are gone. Like, they're gone. Thank the lot. Sorry, because... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I know who that is. So yeah, thank thank Lord. Sorry. But uh we have Virgo, Leo, Aries, Gemini, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, South Node, Saturn, Pluto, or Uranus placements. But more so somebody could definitely have a water moon. It's like this sun, like, it could be a Virgo, Leo, Aries, Gemini, Capricorn, sun. But they have a water moon. Or definitely a Virgo and a Leo got a water moon. Definitely that. Um, let's see. As we trail out of the new moon energy, let's get a moonology for the collective divine Holy Spirit. Oh, we got the sixth, the fifth. The 14th, the 1st, the 19th, the 3rd, the 22nd, the 20th, and the 10th. We have June, May, January, March, and October. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Collective needs to hear. 
Uh, the energy is gaining momentum. Mm. What does the collector need to hear? The answers you need are coming. What was that? Full moon and Gemini. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Taurus. Underneath the deck, it's time to take action. New moon and Aries. So, with this, so the full moon is November 15th. And I feel like the answers you need are coming. You'll just need to get your plans together and make sure that your dreams, like, make sure it's practical, like something that you can accomplish and achieve or whatever. But whatever answers that you're seeking are coming to you within the next two weeks. Okay. And then following that, your prosperity is like, it's in, it's, it's there. So in the next month, okay, prosperity, okay, it's time to take action. Or again, with this new moon energy, this could be like in the now where prosperity lies ahead of you. But you need to move. You, you need to keep making those moves. Well, yeah, you need to make moves now and keep bringing love. Like I said, that self-care, taking care of yourself, okay, and really staying focused. Like, yes, you might feel, like, isolated. Some of you may really love and enjoy it. I know I do. Um, so utilize that time wisely to, like, really, you know, tackle some goals or set new goals, whatever, whatever. Okay, because prosperity is lying ahead. And it's like in the next two weeks, you're going to receive the answers you need. And, you know, as you continue to develop you know, your action plans or whatever, just make sure that the things that you're dreaming or like you're, you're receiving dreams and downloads and you need to write them down because they're all part of your plan. They're helping you to like get in action properly. So that way when this full moon comes in, like you'll be able to like really take off. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Cause that was like really hard to get out. Let's get one here. Sometimes walking away is the only option and not because you want to make someone miss you or realize they took you for granted, but because you finally respect yourself enough to know you deserve better. Yeah. And like I said, if I feminine walked away from the divine masculine or whatever, when they knew that they was dealing with this karmic energy or this karmic was still attached in the energy. And it was like, they stay focused on what they got to do, right? Walking away and do what's better. And I feel like in the divine feminine doing that, this divine masculine now sees, oh, is not saying like, oh, is that easy? Is that simple? Oh, you know, what? whatever. I'm out too. Like they're, they're leaving too. And it's not, you know, because like Divine Feminine didn't walk away to make Divine Masculine like miss him or nothing. It's just more so that they were choosing themselves. OK, like and it's like now I feel like this masculine is having enough respect to choose themselves and realize that they're dealing with a karmic energy and they're walking away. OK, making your mission to accept all parts of you, the good and what you perceive to be your imperfections. Do not look for any outside validation. It's already within you. Once you realize your true beauty and potential, you will never doubt yourself again. Exactly. Okay, oh, let me leave this down here because I know that I have to um, clean up all this, all of this. Let's get some rebel. Try to leave this on a fluffy note to a degree. Okay. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or or quit. And I feel like this masculine is just choosing to quit. Okay, this karmic is also choosing to quit. Okay, they broke your heart. Stay grounded. All right. Yeah, like this masculine could have like really let you down and like you weren't even being shady. This in reverse, they could have thought that you were being shady. And it's like they kind of like let you down. But it was like you understood, like you understand that you get the journey. So, you know, that they had to go off and learn their lessons. Yeah, like you did. So it was like you're, you were grateful to like at least tr like meet them, pops, possibly even like trigger them onto the journey. Right. So it's like now they're just they're they're doing it. They're doing it. It's happening. Okay. What is this? Yeah, getting your heart and misses you. Okay. And don't let your issues mess it up because this is love. This is real good love. Like this the masculine is getting in their heart. They're getting more type of their feminine side, their feelings, their emotions. They're um doing a lot of I'm hearing nervous system regulation and realizing what it is that they need and they want and desire for themselves. Right? And they're realizing that this karmic is no good and this karmic is toxic. Toxic. All right. Last one here. Matter of fact, no. <clears throat> Proverbs will be last. Put some Jesus on it. Look at that. Third eye, yeah. Because this vision was coming in clear as day, baby. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. Continue to do so, divine energy. Okay? Divine collective. We have 20 and continue to speak. I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. As I get up here and do such... 20 and 24 this year, this year, yes, the year of karma 8 is happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. After this magic moment. All right, Divine Holy Spirit. Tell them some goodness. 
This all comes from Proverbs. I'll just give you the um, chapter and verse number. But they're all from the book of Proverbs. So. I don't want the flying child. Thus, wise words bring many benefits and hard work brings rewards. 12.14. An offended friend is harder to win back than a fortified city. 18.19. Progression in the numbers. So, I felt like I said it was lessons and things that had to be learned. I feel like, you know, divine feminists have learned the lesson of self-respect and walking away and not sitting around and waiting on somebody to make up some decision or, you know, always hold somebody's hand to like truly choose yourself. Right? And that's why Spirit is telling you, you know, continue to choose yourself. Okay? Don't get caught up and transmute whatever this energy is that they were trying to send and attack you with. Right? And his divine masculine in itself is understanding, like, his true friends. Because we saw that Julius Caesar energy that came out earlier. And he realized, you know, like, blood or whatever, just because we roll tight or whatever. Like, you've been my dog. Like, it don't matter. Like, people will betray you. Like, and also, in essence, with the divine feminine and divine masculine, this divine masculine is realizing, like, damn, like, I, I, I offended divine feminine. I shouldn't have came in even trying to play these games when I knew she was Queen B, when I knew she was about that life. You get what I'm saying? And it's like now being kind of worried about whether or not they can really come back in and, you know, when you over or like if you'll give them that chance or something like that. So I feel like with that third eye energy and that throat chakra as well, this masculine is getting ready to come in and like really express how they feel. Like they're being guided, like the divine, divinely guided card came out like they're being. OK, so I said that's enough. Because I, I'm telling you, that's a different read. And I don't know. The spirit saying, I'm not a karmics is pissed right now. So, no. Okay, it says, honor the Lord with your wealth, then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with wine. That comes from 3, 9, and 10. Somebody's birthday could be March 9th or March 10th. We've got, he who loves purity of heart and whose speech is gracious will have the king as his friend. 22, 11, which that 11 breaks down to a 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay. A word aptly spoken is like apples of gold and settings of silver. Okay. Um, that's 2511, something with Christmas or even Thanksgiving for those who celebrate that. Okay. Um, or the giving of thanks. Divine Feminine gave the gems, gold and silver, right? Or whatever, like you put gems on those, whatever. Um, a jewel comes and Divine Feminine gave. The masculine, some good words of advice. Or like words that they're they're appreciative of, they're thankful for, okay? Um, God there, um, God, listen to me. Gold there is and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are rare jewels. Crazy, and jewels, yeah, 2015. The year 2015 could be significant, okay? I don't know, fall time, it could be dealing with a pet. I mean, more specifically, could be dealing with a Virgo. Like, my dog was born in September of 2015, which is, I don't know. And it's crazy because it's a fall card, and, I mean, she's a Virgo, so whatever. Um, but, yeah. So, I don't know. That's for somebody. Whatever. But wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. A lot about jewels, okay? Diamonds and pearls. Maskin already said he want to give you the world, okay? We have 8-11. There's August again. Leo energy. Um... A wise youth harvest in the summer, but one who sleeps during the harvest is a disgrace. 10-5. Yeah, they were sleeping on you, okay? October. Yeah, when they was preparing to do whatever rituals they just did last month. Joy fills hearts that are planning peace. 12-20. Yeah, something could be coming in for Christmas. Something beautiful. Okay, a getaway or something or whatever. Or like I said, the, the spending time for the holidays thing. Yo, come on, man. As a face is reflected in water, so the heart reflects the real person. 27-19. Everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. 1523. I'm telling you, divine feminine, that 15 is the devil energy, okay? And 23 breaks down to a five. Well, again, 23, Jordan, you came in and you won the game. Like, you you, you dropped that jewel, like, right when the sun was going down or whatever, like, or coming up, whatever. Like, you, you put something, like, at the tip top of this masculine mind. Like, you said something or you gave some insight that really got the wheels turning, okay? It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, to search out a matter is the glory of kings. Okay, 25-2. And last but not least, whoever gives thought to the word will discover good. And blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. I feel like you're a God-fearing woman. It's a God-fearing man, baby. All right. 
And right now these karmics are just fearing God. <laughs> All right. But um, 1620 would be that right there. And I'm going to lead us here. And I hope it helps for whoever needed to hear this message. You got me off my dish counter for this. I, right. but nonetheless, it's also beautiful in the background for you, Divine Collective. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I love your face, but never more than I love you. Until the next time we speak, peace out.